Lighting is one of the key ingredients of a good photograph. And ordinarily, Photoshop's role with lighting is to correct problems that you've encountered in the field. But a lot of people ask me about post-process relighting. In other words, introducing lighting into an image. So I figured I would try an image that's pretty dramatic. We'd go from day to night and introduce a new light source into it so that we can step through a lot of the tips and tricks for doing this in Photoshop. Let's take a look at how it works. Here's our image in Photoshop, and what I want to do is change the time of day. And in order to do that, I'm just going to choose a Curves Adjustment Layer. And this will allow me to have a non-destructive workflow so I can change it later. By grabbing towards the lower left, that's the area that affects the shadows. By grabbing up higher, that affects the highlights. And maybe I don't want the shadows to be quite so clipped, so I'll bump those up. I can toggle the eye here, and that's much better. It's gone from midday to dusk. And the next thing that I want to do is turn on the headlights. So I'm going to select the lights before doing that. And so we'll just zoom into our image here and grab our Quick Select tool. There's a lot of different selection tools, but this is a great one, and it's going to work well because we've got these nice halos outside of the headlights, which are going to help constrain my selection. I don't need it to be perfect because light bleeds out a little bit. So I select one. Let's select the other one. I can option click to bring the selection back in. And then once I have it close to where I want, I'm going to choose Refine Edge. And they're sort of eerily floating in space. I'm going to click Smart Radius and increase the radius just to make a, a little bit better selection. It's going to look all around the edges. And then I could smooth that out a bit. And I could also feather. Again, I kind of want to soften the edges because light does tend to bleed out a little bit. When I'm satisfied, I'll click OK, and then I'm going to hit Command C, which is going to copy that content to my clipboard, and Command V, which is going to create its own layer. And on that layer, we're going to apply an effect to turn on the lights. And the effect I want to use is one I don't often use, which is lens flare, but it's actually perfect for this particular use case. There are a lot of different types of lens flare. I find the sort of least extreme to be this 105 prime, and I can play around with the brightness. You can barely see it on these, but there's a little crosshair, and I'm going to put that right in the center of the light on the left, and maybe brighten it up a little bit more. Click OK. That looks pretty good. We're going to tweak it in just a minute, but let's turn on the other light. We'll go right back in there to lens flare. We're going to move it from one to the other, and since it's a little further away, I'll drop the brightness just a little bit. And the key to making this more realistic is the blend mode. And I've found that switching this to pin light gives a much more believable result. Now, if I wanted to tone that down a little, I could do that. Maybe I'll, I'll turn the opacity down just a little bit. The next thing we want to do is have the light shining beyond the headlights. And for that, again, I'll just come back to this background layer zoom out a bit, and I find the Polygonal Lasso tool is a really good way to do this. And the key here is to try to just think a little bit like how the light would shine. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to click outside of the light and stretch this out. I'm going to move it over here, a little ways further off canvas, come back up to this light towards the top, maybe come over a little, shine this down, and I like to make these crisscross a little, because that is, that's how headlights work. Come back up here to this one. When I'm satisfied, tie that over. And it looks a little weird right now. Uh, but what we're going to do is, with that selection, we're going to choose Curves. And you'll see that it automatically created a layer mask. And I could just brighten that. Now, you're starting to get the idea. That's not quite believable, but something that's going to help quite a bit more is if, with that mask selected, we now come up here to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we can blur that as much or as little as we want, and click OK, and apply that. So let's just back up a little there and sort of toggle these. So there's the light coming off of those. There's the headlights themselves. There's night to day. And just to see the beginning, here's where we started, and here's where we ended up. 
in a couple minutes, we've taken the photo quite far. Now, what would I do differently? I might warm up the light with a photo filter. I might add multiple layer masks to make the light brighter in the center. But you get the idea. You can actually change an image quite a bit in just a few minutes.